guys, it's Jonathan here. Um, wanted to show you a couple things you can do to spice up your G, C, and D playing. Uh, oh, and I played E minor there too. Um, basically, uh, we're just going to be, this comes out of the, the diatonic minor scale, which you probably have absolutely no clue what that is, but um, I just thought I'd tell you that anyways. Um, don't worry about that for now. I'm just going to show you the little riffs that you can throw in between your scales. Um, this sounds great if you're playing it slow, or you can speed it up once you're, you're more comfortable with it. Um. Etc, right? Um, so let's uh, zoom in on the hand here, and uh, I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, so first off, we've got the G chord, E minor chord, assume that you know those. Um, if not, uh, you should probably look them up. Um, I'm not going to put the chord charts here, but um, so we're starting with the G and don't get, don't get um, hung up on, you know, how I strum this. Come up with your own rhythm. That's part of uh, being creative, but um, you know, you can do it however you want. Like... works for you, whatever uh, feels comfortable to you, whatever sounds cool to you, uh, go with that, but um, just take away the idea of, you know, what notes I'm playing, and then come up with your own uh, rhythm to find, to, uh, to match with it, right? So I'm not going to get into, you know, the rhythm that I'm strumming either, um, just really try to focus on the notes, and uh, so basically, the first thing I'm doing is I'm hitting the bass note, which is, in this case, the... Uh, you know, the sixth string, right? So I'm doing a little rundown here. Okay, so that's actually G, F sharp, and E, if you know the notes. And then just an open E, e minor chord, right? And then C. Now at this point we're picking on you know, on the, from the fifth string, that's where our root note is. And then we're again going down. Okay. So again, all of that happens on the fifth string. It's the same pattern as you see up here on the sixth string. So what we're doing there is we're playing a C, B, and an A open. And um, uh, where do we go from there? Then we go back up to the G. Now truth be told, that's just a progression that I made up on the spot just before I made the video. Um, the thing I wanted to show you was because I remember when I started out playing I thought that was the coolest thing. You can toss that in anytime you're moving from a G to an E minor. Um, let me think here. Basically anytime you've got that little You've got time in there to throw it in. I know it takes time when you're starting out to, to learn that. But uh, you should be able to, with a little bit of practice, learn how to toss that in real quick. And it's, it can sound cool. It can be kind of like, you know, a little spice to your playing there. And you can also do that with the, the C. Down to the A minor. Um, and if you want, you can toss in those same chord, those same passing notes. So what I'm doing there is going G or C down to the G, right? So basically, all I've shown you here is the two passing notes, an F sharp and a B, and um, which are, yeah, um, basically the two the two color notes in the um, 
diatonic minor scale. But uh, so um, hopefully that's cool. If you got any questions, make sure you leave a comment. I always answer my comments. So um, yeah, have fun with that, and we'll see you again next time.